Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cat Scrappiness YouTube channel. My name is Marla and today I am excited to be introducing the Stitched Fancy Scallop Slimline. Now let's get started. I just want to show you this slimline die. It's beautiful with a scallop on the outside and then the stitching on the inside. The largest of the four uh, scallops are is eight and three quarters by three and three quarters. The second one is eight by three. This one is seven and three eighths by two and a half. And finally, we have six and three quarters by one and three eighths. I am going to do a little bit of paper layering with these dies. I thought it would be really fun to take a paper pad from my collection and use all of the coordinating paper to create a card. My first cut is using the largest rectangle, which is eight and three quarters by three and three quarters. I did have to put it on the diagonal because my paper did measure eight by eight. So I will tape this down. I will cut off the sides so that it fits through my vagabond. Then I will take it over to my vagabond and I will cut out that beautiful pattern. So here's where I'm cutting it out with the paper trimmer. This die is new to Cat Scrappiness. It is a release for this weekend. I hope that you head over to this Cat Scrappiness Insiders Facebook group so that you can see all of the inspiration. Also, I will have her blog listed. I am sure there's going to be a lot of posts over the weekend because we have some really fun products for you. So I did cut off camera the third, uh, the second smallest uh, stitched fancy scallop slimline, and that's seven and three eighths by two and a half. And now I am cutting the smallest one, which again was six and three quarters by one and three eighths. And I am simply going to layer these up. Now I did decide that I wanted to use Stuart the Sloth and he is absolutely adorable. Initially, I thought that I might do a floral card with a layered floral, but I decided that I wanted to bring the sloth in. I thought this paper kind of had a jungle feel to him, so I did color him off camera. These letters, you can see the flower right up there in the upper left-hand corner. These uh, letters are from my stash, and I decided that I didn't like the yellow, that I wanted to bring the teal back in, so I'm just taking a Copic marker and I'm going over that polka dot paper. You'll still be able to see the polka dots if you look at it up close. And I will show you a close up of this card. This card came together so quickly. The uh, most time consuming part was coloring the sloth off camera, but even that didn't take a lot of time. And I love the way that this card turned out. As I was saying, Kat does have a Facebook group. It's called the Insiders Group. And she would love for you to go over there and share your creations using Cat Scrappiness products. She also has a monthly contests that you can enter for a chance to win a gift certificate. So I am going to finish coloring these up and then I'm going to come in with a little bit of foam tape and I'm going to pop up one of the layers. And as I said, this card came together. It was easy peasy, quick and easy. I basically just wanted to share the slim line with you and show you just how beautiful it was layered up. I think that it would go really well with the never ending dies that Kat has. That would be uh, a nice to do the largest never ending and then maybe the second largest of the a uh, stitched fancy scallop and then bringing back in another layer of the never ending. There's a lot of possibilities. All of the products that I'm using that are from the Cat Scrappiness store will be listed in the description box below. I hope you head over and take a look at this new uh, set of dies. So here we are. I have all three of those uh, coordinating papers and I'm just trying to decide how I want to layer them and I am going to go ahead and use my adhesive, my tape runner, to put this layer down so there will be no dimension on this one. 
and then I will turn over that middle piece and I will add that extra foam tape. I'll add three layers just to give this card a little bit more interest and then I will start lining up my letters. Now this sloth has a sentiment that is uh, talking about birthdays and being late for a birthday. So I thought that using the letters and putting them on the front that say, so sorry, it kind of fit his sad little face. I think that the sloth kind of has a little bit of a sad face on him. So the sloth is very sorry that it has missed a birthday and I thought that that would make a really fun belated card. Now my card base is going to be a little bit, I think it's eight and three quarters by three and three quarters and you will be able to see just a little bit of that white border because of the scallops. So here I'm laying out my card. I decided that I wanted that cute little sloth over on the right hand side. I did try to color him up so that he looked like he was hairy and when you see the final picture and the close-up you'll get a better look at that coloring and I thought that it was really fun. I think that it has a lot of nice texture to it and I am excited to pull this stamp set out again. As some of you may know, I am new to the design team, so some of these stamps and dies are not in my collection, and like all of you, I want them all, so I'm slowly building up my collection so that I can share these stamps with you. I'm gonna straighten this out, and then I'm going to take a piece of purple tape, it was the wider purple tape, and I am going to lay it over the tops of the letters. I do end up with one that's a little bit wonky, but it's okay. This is the easiest way for me to line up letters and to be able to keep them that way. I will pop up my little Stuart the Sloth. So I did add that foam, that double-sided foam adhesive to the back. And then I will put him down and use some liquid glue on the back of those letters. And that is pretty much going to be my card. I will stamp the inside with a little bit of birthday message. I hope you head over to the store. As I said earlier, take a look at the new products. She has new Christmas paper. I have a card that I made, a Lawn Fawn card using that Christmas paper. It's absolutely adorable. So if you look in the Cat Scrappiness videos, you'll see it maybe two or three down from this one. And then I will also link to my channel. So if you're interested in seeing some of the other creations, uh, some of the other things that I do over on my channel, I would absolutely love for you to head over and take a look. So I'm gonna leave you with a little bit of music as I put the rest of this card together. I'm gonna show you a beautiful close-up. You'll get a good look at the coloring of the sloth and a good look at the scallops and the stitching on these slimline dies. I thank you so much for taking the time to watch today and I hope as always that you have a fabulous day.